When a septic system is designed, the designer and local government will base the size and type of the septic system on the number of bedrooms in the home and the physical features of the property. For design purposes, it is assumed that a bedroom can accommodate two people. If you have more people living in a house than the system was designed for, the system can become overloaded and fail. Site characteristics such as existing structures, slope, wells, streams, and other environmentally sensitive areas influence the system's design. What I have here looks like a handful of plain old dirt, but did you know there are typically 40 million bacterial cells in a single gram of soil? Healthy soil is living and breathing and jam-packed with microbes that break down pathogens. It's the key ingredient in treating wastewater from your septic system. Once it reaches the soil, pathogens from wastewater adhere to the soil particles and are broken down by microbes before it seeps into the groundwater. The type and amount of soil on a property is one of the most important things to consider in determining the design of a septic system. The soil test, once known as a PERC test, helps determine the type and depth of the soil on the property. The soil test usually involves digging out a test hole six feet deep and three feet wide with a backhoe. This will include a ramp so that the designer and sanitarian can safely enter the hole. In the test hole, they look at soil layers and soil types to determine absorption rates and will measure the vertical separation or depth to a restrictive layer. This test hole, for example, shows some of the best soil at a very sufficient depth. Sometimes the test hole will reveal a restrictive layer. In this case, the property has a high water table. The information gathered in the soil test will help the designer in designing a system that will meet the homeowner's needs and satisfy regulatory requirements. In determining the type of system, the concept of vertical separation is very important. Vertical separation refers to the depth of soil on the property between the bottom of a drain field and the top of a restrictive layer of groundwater. You can think of this area of soil as the filter for pathogen removal. This distance will help determine the system type. A restrictive layer could be bedrock, groundwater, or an impermeable layer. It is the depth where water will no longer flow down through the soil and receive treatment. 